organization we volunteer for is called LifeWise. Within LifeWise there's a thing called Crucial Crew, and within Crucial Crew is the scenario that uh, both me and Janet do, which is a knife crime scenario, which we're basically actors for. We basically tell a story about sort of antisocial behaviour and a bit of hate crime that leads into a really massive topic at the minute and it's knife crime and what I do to the kids is I, I start telling the story and start we start having this conversation and then literally the knife is hidden down the side of my chair and I pull the knife out. Hopefully it stops them thinking that picking a knife up is cool. That's what we're trying to do. I've known Janet and Chris now for about two and a half years and I'm part of the team that oversees Crucial Crew. So we manage it on a day-to-day -day basis. We write the lesson plans, ensure the content the children are receiving on behalf of South Yorkshire Police is what we want them to get from us. Janet and Chris are absolutely outstanding. They volunteer in our knife crime scenario with the children. They do some role play for us, which lasts about three or four minutes, and they just bring the scenario to life. Children absolutely love them, um, and they just bring it all alive. They really make it work for us. Without them, the scenario wouldn't be what it is. and wouldn't get the feedback we get from the schools. It's Chris and Janet who give it that extra wow factor. We're trying to educate kids at a young age that knife crime is not cool because we've seen it on the news and we're trying to do as much as we can to reduce the number of young deaths. I've been here for about seven and a half years now and uh, basically I do the knife crime with Chris. I, I try to talk him out of using this knife. I lost my husband five and a half years since and I'm on my own, own at home and it gives me a purpose to get up in the morning and something to do and meet people. Uh, well, Chris and Janet have been volunteers for us here at LifeWise for about seven or eight years now. They volunteer with us four days out of five every week. Um, they don't have a day off because I kind of make them because I feel that they need to have a break. Otherwise, they'd be here five days a week for sure. Um, but yeah, they get excellent feedback from the schools in terms of what they do. Um, it just helps to make a very serious message that we're trying to get across. Um, be very realistic and very hard-hitting and impactive for the young people that are in the audience. I added a bit, a new bit to the knife crime scenario just recently and um, looked over at this one particular time last week, uh, a couple of weeks ago, and this teacher's in floods of tears. This teacher is in floods of tears and I was like, Miss, are you alright? She was like, yeah, it's just really good acting. I was like, I'm really sorry. I know that they both get so much out of the volunteering that they do. And as I said, they've both got their own reasons as to why they choose to volunteer. I think Janet just enjoys the companionship after losing her husband a few years ago. I think she very much sees us as family here. And Chris is very, very passionate about working with young people because I know he does lots of other things as well. Obviously, they could choose to volunteer their time with anybody. And I'm just so grateful that they volunteer with us, as is the whole organisation, because it really does make a difference. And she's like my grandma. She is. Well, he calls me grandma. She's brilliant. I love her.